Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston, and today we're going to go over uh, our fourth video on basic coding, going over use of code templates to uh, really increase our efficiency when we're collecting topo data. Uh, once again, the code templates has been around for at least 20 years since System 1200, and it's easy to overlook this functionality, um, but this can really help us increase our productivity when we're collecting topographic survey data. Uh, let's take a look at this first scenario. Let's imagine we have a bunch of hills. We need to topo this field here. And my first code template we're going to look at is we can have codes that we're going to use commonly in this situation here. So we have gray break, top of slope, toe of slope, natural ground, high bank, and maybe a dirt road and uh, fence. So whether I'm using RTK um, or robotic, you can see this can really increase my productivity. So just imagine if I had a GS18 with tilt. I um, don't have to worry about leveling the pole and it can just quickly go down, collect my points, and all my codes are staring me in the face. So once again, these are point codes with these little dots. I can hit this little arrow here, button here to take a shot, hit the OK or F1 measure. Um, let's say I work through the second scenario and we now move over to a road intersection. I can have mobile code templates. I can quickly change to a different code template I use consistently. And um, once again, in this case, we're going to be picking up light poles, stop signs, fire hydrants, and all these codes once again are sitting right here. So I can quickly change from one to the other and collect this data efficiently. Once again, using robotic with AP20 pole if I wanted to, or tilt, or just regular robotic and RTK. All right, so take, let's take a look at this, the settings. So what we're gonna do right now is, on the CS20, we've collected this, uh, created this job number one. We'll go into view the properties, go to the code list, and I've attached this code table right here of 2018. Uh, let's go down to settings. And what we'll do is take a look at the settings we have. And um, so what we'll do is take a look at the line work settings. Uh, go to customization coding. In this case, we want to make sure the create line work is, is selected and allow new codes and code descriptions. And if I scroll down, I'll also make sure that I have my uh, attributes are turned on as well. Okay, so these are settings that are good to make sure that these are checked. And uh, once again, we have all those proper mandatory attributes. Okay, let's escape out of here. And also, I can also set a hotkey. So under customization, hotkeys, I went in under my GPS favorites, which is the star key, and I created a load code template. So I can quickly switch between these templates. Okay, so once again, this is just another way to speed you up. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the measure screen. Let's measure out in the field collecting data. And what's gonna happen is on the first screen, I got this code that shows up. I get my star key, my favorites. And then once again, the hotkey load code template pops up. And the first one I'm gonna pick is topo one. We'll hit okay. And all of a sudden, all the um, codes appear right in front of my face, like we talked about. So I hit gray break, top of slope, toe of slope, natural ground. So as fast as I walk around, I can just click on these icons, hit the OK or the arrow key or F1 measure, and this will shoot the points in and code it as fast as I can get to them. So once again, it's very handy, very fast, and all the codes that are sitting that I need to pick up are staring me right in front of the face. So once again, um, store code template, load code template, if I hit function tools, if I don't have a hotkey, that's how fast I can switch from one template to another, okay? We'll hit the star key again, once again, load template, I'll change to topo2, right the road intersection. And once again, a different set of codes pop up that are defined. So in here we've got fire hydrant, tree, utility pole. And let's imagine we came across a code in the field. Um, I can hit function, clear one. Let's say transformer's not in there, can take that out. And then I'll hit the uh, define button and F2 code if I want to create a new code. So let's say we're going to want to put power pole in there. It's not in there. So we can just type in what the code should be, PPL, and then type in the code description, okay? So we're now adding a code that was not on our code list, and we're gonna put that in that template to help speed us up, okay? And we'll hit F1 store, and now that code is in there. Just for the job, so now we're in there, we're in our template, and we've now updated that for the intersection so we can collect all that data, all right? Um, I have another template after this. We finish that road intersection. Uh, we can hit the star key and then change into uh, our, our 
template for uh, boundary surveying. So once again, hit star two, uh, we have a third one. So you can have as many of these templates as you want. And here I got, you know, my chiseled X, iron pipe, iron rod. So I just want to show you how fast we can change from one code template to another. Then all my codes for boundaries are sitting uh, staring right here. Okay. So this is a great way for us to uh, speed up our data collection. I, I then hit function clear all and that wipes out that out to start from scratch. And now I can arrow over and view all the data that I picked up. How do I define these code templates? I can just type in the code, in this case, like rail, it pops over. Then I go down and search for my next code. Let's say it was gravel. And then those two codes are there. If I arrow back over, I can build this list as simple as that, then hit function, F6 tools, and then I could store. And that's where I stored and called them topo1, topo2, and boundary. And that's how I created them. Now, once again, these templates, if I do it like that, are just for that job. So how do I save them to my code list for future use? Just go back to job properties and then go to code list. And what we'll do is hit the function button and then it's F2 export. I've now got to save that to overwrite and update my code list. So we'll hit OK and I'll say that one code has been exported. What it doesn't tell is that exporting those code templates we defined as well. So we'll hit OK. And now that code table has been updated. So if I create a new job and call it job number two. Um, and then I'll just show you here that all those changes that we made will now be in the new job. So if we didn't store it, it'd just be stayed back just for valid for job number one. And then once again, hit the hotkey and then all the templates that we had in the previous one are now stored and usable for future use. Let's say this is uh, you know real handy and I wanna transfer this to the other crews. What we'll do is we'll escape out. Um, we'll go down to settings, tools, transfer objects. I got an SD card now into the in the data collector. So we'll transfer from internal to the SD card. I got to pick the name of the code list. So you can have multiple code lists on your CS20. In this case, we only have one. We'll hit OK and we'll transfer from internal to SD card. Hit OK. And now it's going to overwrite and store that. So what we could do is we could take that SD card out, stick it in the other crew, and then do the exact opposite. So on the new data collector, just hit settings, tools, transfer objects, and we'll transfer the code list from the SD to the internal. Then he can attach it to his project and keep on working. And that's a quick way on how we can use code templates to speed up our production in the field and um, especially in topographic uh, data collection. Okay, so just want to thank everyone for watching um, and hope you found that beneficial and uh, any questions just feel free to reach out. Thanks again.